What's up everybody? In today's show, we're gonna talk about Envision's new design tool called Studio. I've been able to use it for a week now and I'm gonna give you my reaction to it. We're also gonna talk about healthcare for freelancers a little bit, some current jobs that are available and working with dream clients. So last week, Envision started to slowly release their new design tool called Studio, and I was one of the first ones to get access to it. Now, if you don't know what Studio is, it's a new screen design tool from Envision. It features screen design, responsive layouts, rapid prototyping, advanced animations, shared design systems, and seamless collaboration. Okay, now, my favorite thing about all this, so after using it for a week, my favorite thing, um, and it's something that they don't really talk enough about here on their website, in my opinion, is the prototyping, it's the animation. Um, it's just like, it's so seamless. It's like right there, I'll, I'll design a screen and I'll have another screen here. And there's just way it connects and animates and transitions. It's like, it's, it's so hard to explain because it's, it's so new. Um, but basically what would take me one to two hours in After Effects, which is where I usually do my prototyping, now is like three to five seconds. Um, it's pretty, pretty impressive. So I can't wait to play with it a little bit more. The design tool itself is so far the same as like some of the other things out there. Um, it is a little bit simpler, which I like, but the kicker is the animation, the transitions, the prototyping, um, for me anyways. So I'm looking forward to playing with this more. I can't say too much else about it because of, you know, lawyer stuff, but, um, I definitely will do a review, hopefully one of the first reviews on it when we can actually show it. But so far, speaking of Envision, they're giving away $5 million in this thing called the Design Forward Fund. And I've already personally applied for this. I showed them this picture of my family as my startup. So fingers crossed I get accepted, but it's definitely worth checking out. I mean, if you have an idea, it looks like it's mainly for design focused stuff or products or uh, applications with inside studio. So um, if you have an idea, definitely apply it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? And I did just DM my contact there and I asked them when will these uh, applications be responded to? When will they start selecting people? And he said it's about two to four weeks from now. So uh, give it a shot, you know? All right, moving on. I asked you on Twitter what I should talk about today. And Devin Co. had a really great response. Devin says, what's your relationship with insurance as an independent creator? I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but I real quickly say that my insurance is really, really expensive, kind of too hard to afford right now, but my wife and I are in baby making mode. We've got three kids and we wanna have two, three more. So I've kind of opted and working a little bit harder so I could pay for extra insurance um, for, for everyone to cover my whole family. It is pretty expensive right now and I was like in and out of the hospital there for a little bit. So, I mean, we're paying close to $2,000 a month for insurance and um, it's definitely not easy. It's not, it's not easy. Now there are other options and again, I'm paying for a whole family. It would be cheaper if it was just yourself, potentially, I'm not sure. There are other options. So like Drew Wilson tweeted out that he's only roughly paying like 500 a month and he's got a family of five. Um, I forget what the actual thing is called. I know a few other friends, freelancer friends that are on something similar. It's like a shared plan with a bunch of people. Um, I'll find out more information and we'll do a whole video on that. But my insurance is expensive and I don't even pay, I don't have eye insurance. I don't have dental insurance because I mean, that's just, this is too much for me. But I do wish I had dental insurance because of course, when you don't have it, that's when it, you actually need it. And uh, over the past couple of years, I've had to go to the dentist for certain things and just had to pay out of pocket. And it's, it's really hard to do that. So I do wish I had dental insurance, but um, just when you're paying so much in insurance, it's hard to keep adding on all this stuff. Speaking of needing money, our friends at Basic are hiring like a whole slew of designers. They're down in San Diego. They also have an office here now in Mountain View. And it's just one of my favorite design agencies of all time. The owner there is Matt Falk. He's such a cool guy, a good friend of mine. They work with clients like Beats by Dre, Chrome Industries, Nixon, REI, I think they did stuff for Billabong, Foot Locker, Nike, American Express, just basically everybody. So if you're looking for a new design job, I highly, highly recommend applying to Basic. I'll put a link down in the description uh, for more information. Also hiring a freelance product designer is 
parsleyhealth.com. Also, Figma is hiring a UX researcher. TaskRabbit is hiring a senior product designer. Webflow is hiring a product design manager to lead the UX and UI for the entire team for the entire platform. Lyft, Lyft is hiring a design manager and a product designer. Looks like Creative Mornings is looking for a community coordinator. ConvertKit is looking for a UX designer. Speaking of healthcare, Honor is looking for an experienced product designer to work for them. If you're a UI engineer out there, it looks like my buddy Josh Hemsley is hiring over at uh, Happy Money, Joy App, and Payoff. They're looking for a UI engineer to join their design team. All right, and one last job opportunity out there. It looks like Shopify is looking for a senior product designer. If you're interested in talking to any of these companies, but you know maybe you're not sure how, or you're not sure if your work's quite there yet, or you're, you need ideas to beef up your portfolio first, or whatever it is, definitely reach out. Send me a DM on Twitter, at Dan Petty, Dan with two ends. And uh, I'm happy to take a look, send you a quick uh, response, feedback, but uh, don't be afraid to reach out to these people. I mean, the worst you're gonna get is a no. A lot of times when some of these companies say no, especially if you're in touch with the, the, the designers actually there, they'll give you feedback as to why. You know, maybe improve on this, maybe we're not ready yet, maybe improve on this or, you know, or whatever. So uh, the worst you're gonna get a no, um, Next best is you're gonna get a no with some feedback, some crucial steps that you could take to, you know, potentially get that job in a few months or whatever, or you're gonna get the job, or they're gonna know someone that's hiring someone more like you, and they're gonna refer you to that team, that person. So there's really no harm in applying, and I highly recommend it. If you're looking for something new, definitely apply it to one of these companies. Okay, before we get into the last story of the day, I wanna to talk to you about Epicurrent's Winter Work Week. It's this new event that I'm hosting for creatives of all different types, whether you're a designer, UX, photographer, videographer, illustrator, whatever it is, that's have an event that's for you. So at Winter Work Week, there's gonna be like 400 to 500 creators there. And we're gonna do talks, we're gonna have workshops, free workshops, we're gonna have two to three day long classes where you can really deep dive in on a certain subject and learn something new um, or enhance a skill. There's gonna be snowboarding and skiing, you know, there'll be sledding right outside the lodge, ice skating right at the lodge we're all at, um, and really whatever else we can get into. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna to get to hear from Sarah Dietschy, Chris Doe, Devin Co., Dan Maul, Mark Hemian, Katie Deal from Lyft, Charlie Prangley, Backy Saturday, Vicky Tan, Pablo Stanley, Jessica Maria, Helen Tran, Grayson McAlpine, and just so many others. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really, really, really good time. You'll be able to ask them anything you wanna ask. The best part about Epicurrence is that it's all just like open conversation. There's no keynotes, there's no big presentations, it's discussions. So at any time you'll be able to ask a question and just get really get what you want out of this event. Really get the questions answered that you want to know out of this event. Now it's about 3.5 days in Yosemite this February 26th through March 2nd, and tickets are now just $7.99. And if you want lodging with that, it's $12.99 for shared lodging and $15.99 if you want your own room. And four nights lodging is included. Four nights staying at the Tenaya Lodge in Yosemite is included with the tickets. Okay, so this last story I really wanna mention just because I, I hope it's a little nugget of inspiration for you in your career. You know, we all have these dream clients that we wanna work for. Mine was always, always, from when I started, was Red Bull, Burton, and Nixon. So Nixon watches. And even when I was in college and design school, I was always thinking about these companies, like man, it would be so cool to work for Red Bull, to work for Burton, and go snowboarding, and do all this stuff. Like that was my dream, dream job. And about five years ago, so like seven years into my design career, I actually got to redesign Nixon.com. And that was a huge, huge, huge moment for me. As a freelancer, I redesigned it. Um, and it was live for like four years until basic, the agency I just mentioned that's hiring, <laughs> took the job from me, took the new redesign from me. Maybe don't go work for basic. I'm kidding, go work for basic, they're awesome. So finally, after 10 to 12 years of designing, depending on how you look at it, I finally, finally, finally got the job with Red Bull. And again, as a freelancer, so I, I, they finally had a project for me and it was just like, a huge goal for me. So now two of my three clients I've got to work for. And it wasn't that I kept pestering them or kept asking them, I actually didn't do any of that. Um, it was just, I was always, 
thinking about it in the back of my head, I was always designing things towards their styles, um, in that lifestyle and that culture. And so my design was always inspired by that, hoping that one day they'll reach out and they'll see that I can design something for them. And it's just something I always wanted. So I, when the opportunity came and I hear that Nixon's redesigning their site, yeah, then I reach out and, hey, is there anything I could do for you? I'm here, please let me know. Um, when I hear Red Bull needs help, hey, I'm right here. <laughs> you know, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. If you need any help at all, please let me know. And I'll be available for you um, at any time, you know. Uh, so just being flexible and being flexible with pricing too, like that's part of it. You know, not everyone has big budgets. Don't always sit back and wait for that full, full budget price that you're, or whatever you're charging. You know, take every opportunity you can, as long as there's a benefit for both parties, um, I think it's I think it's extremely valuable, and that's how you're going to help get towards some of these uh, dream clients that you want to work for. So, with that said, if you're on your second year, your fifth year, your tenth year, and you still haven't landed that dream client, it took me ten to twelve years to finally get my top top client. It took seven years to get Nixon, another one of my top clients, and I still haven't got my third one yet. And I've been doing this for a long time, so. Don't give up, don't give up. It, it could happen. I'm not saying it will happen, it could happen. Good luck out there. Now get out of my office.